Hello, this is Eli from Sentinel Asp Technical Support. In this session, I'm going to talk about uh, the utility called RAS. Uh, RAS stands for Remote Update System. This is a utility that the vendor should uh, uh, supply, provide to his uh, end user, and the end user on his machine will run it in order to uh, mainly to create a C2V, which is a capture of the license resides on, the, on his machine. Uh, the RAS can also be used in order to take the vendor V2C and apply it in order to update his license on his key. But this is not mandatory because also the admin control center, the ACC, can do the same thing, take the V2C and apply it. Uh, however, for the C2V, for creating C2V and sending it uh, to the vendor, uh, there are no other utilities, so the RAS is uh, mandatory for it. So let's see how we create this RAS and how we use it. As a vendor, you are going to create it using the Business Studio. I've already opened the Business Studio over here. And uh, under the development tasks, <coughs> I see on the right side, I have the option to create RAS. I have to choose uh, where to put it and the name. Let's do it in the desktop. I, here I can uh, put some uh, words, some sentences which relates to my company, such as uh, please contact uh, this and this, etc. And now this utility is going to be created. Let's see this utility uh, over here on the desktop. I call it 1.exe, obviously maybe the name should be some more descriptive uh, and now this utility is going to be used by the end user and now suppose that I'm the end user what I would do is just double click on it and I have two options the first tab is to collect information meaning that I'm going to create a C2V and the second one is wh whether I have a V2C from the vendor and I would like to update it but uh, we are talking about the main important thing uh, is to collect information which means to create C2V so what I would do is I will press collect information and it asks me where to put it I will put it here uh, let's call it 2 and this uh, was created so this is how uh, I get C2V and uh, I can provide it as an end user to my vendor and the vendor uh, may use it uh, to update my license Thank you for watching.